Hello, 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 my hoodoo booze. I am the African witch bitch. Don't judge me. I got crumbs on my mouth for my birthday cake, but that's all right. So what are we discussing today? We are discussing the magical um, properties and uses for skull cap. Somebody asked me, can you add skull cap? Can you do a tutorial on skull cap? I said, yeah, I can do a tutorial on skull cap. So here we go. So I got my notes right here and I'm finna break it down. Skull cap is a feminine herb used by women and charged by women. And it's charged by this woman if you purchase on my website. The, um, the link is in the description box below. But let me break it down for you just so that you are well-rounded and educated on exactly what skull cap is. Okay. Skull cap is a feminine herb. It is a commanding herb, but it commands specific parts. And specifically, it's not like an herb that you can use for all around commanding, but it does do certain things that it specializes in. Now, them ancient old school hoodoo mamas use skull cap in different ways. Um, they would use it to force their man to be faithful to them so that he wouldn't go out there and entertain other feminine energies. If this herb is um, enchanted by a female, me, I'm a female, or you, if you happen to be a female and it's used on a man, it has a completely different boost in it than if it's not um, used. I'm not saying that men can't use this herb. You definitely can, but it won't be as powerful because it's a feminine herb. And if a woman is um, charging it, it's going to have a different um, meaning. So let's go through my notes. All right, so let's break it down. Break it down. If you need to use this herb, to promote peaceful sleep. Some people are restless at nighttime that they're new in this realm of hoodoo. And me personally, I am uh, used to being waking up in the witching hour and I get my downloads and I can fall back to sleep, but some people can't, or maybe they're dealing with depression or stress, or maybe they're dealing with um, whatever, whatnot. Maybe hell, they got some loud ass neighbors that are they're the type of people that when they wake up, it's hard for them to fall back to sleep. Skull cap is excellent to use if put in a mojo bag and stuck inside the pillow. You got kids that have nightmares, little ones that are restless, stick skull cap inside a mojo bag inside their pillowcase and you'll see a big difference in their sleep. It also prevents nightmares. Now, if you are one of those people that's recovering from a spiritual attack, Let's say you're new to this realm and you weren't, and you can just admit that you weren't up on your protection game and maybe somebody came from you with the whammy bammy spiritually or life. Sometimes they don't have shit to do with spirituality. You're just exhausted from life. Maybe you're in grad school. Maybe you're in high school. Maybe you're in college and you're just busting your ass working that job and you just need to rest. You need to sleep. You need to unplug from everything. Take a good eight hours of hardcore sleep. Skullcap is the, um, the herb for you. It's definitely very, very, very good for a recovery, like giving energy and recovering. Um, you can use it for restoration when you're doing spell work. And if you're really, really doing like when I do the court case, kaboom, pow. And if you don't know what that spell is, it's on my um, YouTube. That takes a lot of energy out of me. And when I need to rejuvenate, rejuvenate myself, when I need to just like a boost the energy, because maybe I got to go to work the next day and I don't want to be dragging my ass. Skull cap is the herb to use. Definitely. You can put it, like I said, in a mojo bag. You can definitely um, use it for any type of attraction if a woman, like woman, woman attraction. Like if a woman want, it's one of those herbs that's sort of similar to Jezebel root, but not really. Meaning this, if you want to attract money from a certain specific someone, and I'm not saying that this is okay to do, I personally wouldn't use it for this, but I'm just giving you the ins and outs of Skullcap. You have to make your own decision how you want to, you know, fuck with it. If you want, like, let's say you're going on a job interview and you want the male who's interviewing you to look at you female favorably or the male judge or the male you're in school and you're on academic probation and you want to get off or you have a, a professor or a supervisor, whatever the case may be. Skullcap is a good herb to use for commanding work in an ethical manner. Y'all already know that I'm an ethical witch. I'm not with the fuck shit. So if you want to manipulate motherfuckers to do unethical ass shit, don't come to me with that bullshit. But it is a powerful herb for commanding. Now, here's a, a, a tip. If you want to uh, a spell that you can do, if you want to um, attract money, 
from your husband. Like, let's say you want him to be generous and buy you a nice gift or some shit like that. And you know this man loves you. I'm not saying I would do it. I personally wouldn't. But here's a tip with the old school hoodoo mamas did. They took a saucer and they coated the skullcap herb in attraction oil with some coins. They sat there in tent and they put it underneath the bed of the man on his side of the bed. Because back in the day, if y'all remember, men, especially um, them old school hoodoo mamas from back, back in the day, it was the men who worked and the women who stayed home. And the men were the ones who made all the money. And whatever your husband gave you, if he gave you anything, is only the money you got. Unless you snuck and took in some washing or baked the cake for the couple down the street and you, you were able to sneak odds and ends money like that. Or if your husband allowed you to have a job or an extra side hustle, whatever. So them old school hoodoo mamas would take skull cap, put it inside a saucer, coat it with attraction oil and stick it under on underneath uh, the bed on his side of the bed to command him to give her money. It does work, especially if you add a lodestone with it. Take the lodestone, the herbs, coat it with attraction oil, stick it underneath the bed. You can definitely do that. But if you are trying to command a man to do something for you, like the judge or your supervisor or whatever the case may be, you can take that same saucer, you can take that same lodestone, you can take the same skull cap, you can take that same attraction oil, and you can take a petition paper with homeboy's name in it, stuff it underneath all the herbs, coat that shit with attraction oil, set your intent, and burn a white candle on top or green, or orange for court case. That That's definitely a spell that work. I have used that in ethical manner for job interview. It's highly effective. I'm just saying. All right, what else can Skullcap be used for? Uh, Let's see. If you want to be restored, like I said, if I have my notes right here. Excuse me if I'm looking over to the side. But if you want... um to be uh, restored because you're exhausted, mix a little bit of skull cap with some vervain. Vervain is an excellent uh, herb to use. And also, last but not least, before I go, I want to give you guys this other little tidbit right now. So if you want to calm down. Now, some people are like, well, African witch bitch, African witch bitch, how do I calm down? How do I calm down with skull cap? You can use it in candle magic. You can use it by stuffing it underneath your pillow. Like I said, you can also smoke it. I'm personally not a smoker, but if you know how to roll up them joints, and if you don't know what a joint is, I'm from the South. Our, back in the 70s, people didn't smoke blunts. If you don't know what a blunt is, blunt is when you take Mary G. Ronnie, the devil's lettuce, or what they call it, marijuana, and put it inside a tobacco leaf, roll it up, and puff, puff, pass. But before the blunts were created, our mamas and you a damn lie if you can say you don't have an auntie or a mama or a big mama or, or whoever, your neighbor down the street who used to smoke on the sticky icky and they smoke joints or joints, whatever. So if you roll up, get you some rolling papers and roll you up some skull cap, you can definitely smoke it to calm you the fuck down. You pissed off, you angry because your husband left his funky ass socks in the middle of the floor after you done warned him not to do it. And you done spent an hour scrubbing your bathroom down and he wait right until you finish scrubbing your bathroom down to go shave and he leave all his little uh, cuckabug hairs all over the damn place and cut his hair. And you pissed off. Before you go and cuss that man out, honey, smoke you a joint of some skull caps so you can calm down and you won't even be mad. You just go be like, baby, can you go clean it up? And you just go giggle yourself to sleep because that's what skull cap do. All right. Uh... What else? Any other questions about this herb? It's an um, amazing herb. And of course, I do have it in stock on AWB website. And yes, we're in the middle of a sale because it's Gemini season. But if you, even if you don't buy from me, use this herb. It's amazing. It works. It definitely do. If I knew how to smoke, I'd use it in that way. But you can also drink it as a tea if you don't know how to smoke. If you anything like me, I, I wouldn't know the first fucking thing on how to roll a damn joint. I, I really don't know. I'm the wrong person to ask. Uh... I've seen people also put it in bongs and put it in pipes. I don't know, but I personally don't kind of know how to inhale. I'm working on it. Maybe one day I'll learn. Who knows? But I'm still the African damn witch bitch. Even if I do do or don't smoke jones, I'm still the African witch bitch who is your hoodoo auntie. Okay. Uh, that is my tutorial on skull cap. And if you are in the market to purchase Skullcap or in other low-cost hoodoo supplies, hit up my website or come into the AWB Botanica in the city of Los Angeles 
in South Central Los Angeles, AWB baby. Um, all of my information is in the description box below and have fun smoking on your Jones. I personally don't smoke. Maybe one day I'll learn and maybe one day you can come into the AWB Botanica. You can roll up a joint and pass it to me. I might hit it. Who knows? If I learn one day, maybe I'll ask my admins to teach me. I'll talk to you guys soon. I am the African witch bitch. Hoodoo auntie practitioner, Ashe.